Ride Nation, Mr. Tidbit here. I'm holding a brand new 2012-2013 Ride DH2. Uh, now this is definitely a board that many of you know because it's been in the line for several years, you know, kind of catering to that all-mountain freestyle guy that treats every aspect of the mountain like a terrain park. It's responsive, it carves well, it's fast, you know, it's durable. It's the thing that you guys have all loved about it for years, but there's definitely one big change uh, for 2013 that I want to clue you in on, but let me get to the basic features just in case you forgot. So this has a Rides twin hybrid rocker shape to it. So basically what that means is from the center all the way up to the contact points, you have a flat, stable zone, uh, which basically the benefits that you get from that is as you're hauling ass down the mountain, it's stable, it carves well. As you're tracking into a rail or a stump, it tracks straight and keeps you in there because you don't want that washy, loose feeling that just makes you lose confidence and then confidence and then eat shit uh, as you come around on a jump or try to track into a rail. Um, then what Ride has done is you have a slight rocker on the nose, a slight rocker on the tail. It's basically just enough to get these contact points out of the snow, keep it loose so that way you can play around everywhere, especially on boxes and rails. And then a slight camber is infused all the way back in from contact point to contact point. Um, the best way I can describe the other amount of camber, it's, you know, think back maybe six, I guess maybe seven years ago now, when you had your camber board, it had 30 to 45 days on it, it was broken in, you know, just a little bit of camber that you could see play on it uh, as you put your foot down, but not much. That's what you're going to get there. So it's a nice familiar feeling uh, that you used to have. Now the biggest change for 2013 is the hop rods that it used to have right here in the nose and tail have been replaced by pop walls. What pop walls are is the slime wall at the, you know, right where the inserts end on the nose and tail have carbon fiber sandwiched right in these two nice little layers right there in the slime wall. So basically what that's done is you now have a much wider platform to pop off of as you're jumping, as you're screwing around, and that wider platform, I mean, we all try to be flat based when we jump, when we spin, when we do everything, but it doesn't always happen, especially when you're playing around in the trees, dropping cliffs, oftentimes you're gonna be slightly on your toe, slightly on your edge, and you're not gonna have that full flat base. So moving this out and having the pop walls run along the rails, you can now still pop right off of your edge as you're going into a spin or as you're coming off of something sketchy and you still get the height that you want so that you you know you can make that spin around and the big thing that threw me and it surprised me because i wasn't expecting it is these actually catch the energy as you're turning and accelerate your turns accelerate your spins it's really amazing how quickly you go through and you can just feel like right as you're coming through a heel side turn how much faster the, uh, the tail starts to whip around as you spin off of something and it gets you around that much faster and it's definitely saved my ass a few times this season uh, coming off of sketchy stuff and not ending up doing a 270 instead of a 360. So like I said, that's the biggest change for 2013. This is for the rider that absolutely loves to ride the entire mountain like a terrain park, likes response, needs a little bit of loose play in the nose and tail for when you're dorking around. But overall, you like response, you like carving, you like speed. This is definitely a board you should check out in the fall when it comes out.